Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It is Angela, the Traveling Crafter. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you have been here for a while, you know that we are working on the 100, hashtag 100 day challenge, ATH, which stands for around the house, using items that we find around the house to create items for our art and junk journals. And it is an open collaboration hosted by myself. Anyone can participate. If you put the hashtag into the search bar, you'll find all kinds of videos from all kinds of talented young ladies. And if you wish to participate, just use that hashtag. It's really fun. And grab that list, which is generated. I didn't even come up with it. I just asked the computer to generate 100 items from around the house that we can use to craft and that list is on my Kofi site which is in the description below today is not a tutorial i am not going to teach you anything but i am going to link the video in which i do a tutorial on safety pin dangles because i think you'll like it but instead today it's just going to be a quick one and i'll just show you some of the ways that you can use safety pins now what i've got here are the safety pins that we used to rust. Now, I will tell you, when you're using these, they're a little bit harder to get through, you know, fabric and such, because they're now rusted, but they still work, but they turned out lovely. So, one way that you can use these as a dangle in and of itself, let's see, is like this. So, I've used a large rusted pin, used a jump ring, and put a baby pin and then you could put a bull pin on the top of it and just dangle it from something like that and that's all you need right uh you can also just like these little guys just use them to clip paper and fabric together pretty easy peasy uh what else do we have oh we have dangles and charms so here's one that is just jump ring on a baby clip clip Paper. <laughs> yeah, safety pin. And so then you could just put this on the edge of your page on a piece of paper. Super, super cute. These are from Timu. I do love them. They're very nice quality. Here's another one. This is for a summery kind of journal. This is, There's a little starfish on there and it's just, this is from an old necklace. And I just added a jump ring on that one. This one I had... I put a jump ring on the end, but I just put some beads and some numbers on there and, you know, was what I had laying around. What else do I have in my bag of tricks? Oh, here's another one. This is just some fabric. The pin is through the fabric and then I just added, can you see that on the very top of it, a jump ring with a little, this is also from an old piece of jewelry. So there's that. And then these are some from our Sewing Notion Sunday. The one that with the dangles that I made, I must be out of them because I couldn't find one. Uh, here's one on an old button card. Here are several on the little spools for dangles. What else? Do I have anything else? These I think are not... I don't think any of these are, but I mean, look at all of the possibilities and you know, that's just a few. So there are many, many more, but I just wanted to show you, uh, whether you've rusted them or not, there are many, many, many ways that you can use your safety pins. And if you want an entire tutorial on how to create a dangle using beads and such and other little bits and bobs, then hop on over to the link in the description to that video and you can check it out. But until next time, friends, I hope you have a great week and remember to take time to just be. And tomorrow I will somehow be back with pencil shavings. I do not know what that looks like, but we're going to have a good time. <laughs> so we'll talk to you next time. Cheers.